I'm Roger. And I'm Adam. Welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's how-to videos. And what will we be how-toing? Today we're going to how-to not screw your quadcopter by putting the wrong blades in the wrong place. Alright. This is, I know I say this a lot, but when it comes to quadcopters, drones, this is easily the number one thing that needs to be fixed and nobody knows how to do it. Well, it's the number one thing we get people... All day long, you get people come in and go, my quad won't fly, my quad won't fly. And we look at it, and you put the blades on backwards. <laughs> yeah, the orientation, which blades go where, right. clockwise, counterclockwise. Now, if you guys would read the instructions, you'd know where they go. But since no one wants to read their instructions, we're going to show you how to do this. Okay, yes. It's really simple. It's, uh, and like I said, it is by far the number one issue we have in here. People come in here and go, oh my gosh, my quad, my quad won't fly, it just flips over, and they come in and we flip two blades over and it flies magnificently, and they look at us like we're some kind of magician. Yeah, like, like we just perform voodoo or something on right. their drone. What happened? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, if for folks who are going to play along at home, what tools may they need? Uh, you're just going to need either a flat blade screwdriver or a Phillips head. Uh, the blades are only held on one of two ways. They're yeah. either going to screw on, or they're going to be screwed on through the side, or they're just going to pry off. It's yeah. really simple, and most of the stuff is, is the same. Mo like a lot of the, like for example, the littler ones are going to use sort of a uh, tension, uh, then from the like you say, step up the screw that holds it in, right. and then sort of the screw down or the wing nuts on top. But, right. you know, check your drone instructions, but, you know, you can tell when you look at them that, you know, hey, right. there's you no screw there, apparently right. that's going to pull off. Right, and then on the bigger guys, you can't put them on wrong. Like if you have a Phantom or a Unique, you can't put them on wrong because they have uh, they have uh, reverse threads on the on, on some of them, so you so can't put them on backwards. They right, they won't do anything. Yeah, they just... won't actually go on. So yeah. this, uh, if you have a big one, you know that already, though. Exactly. So with that said, though, what we're going to dive in to show you is the basics of understanding counterclockwise, clockwise, and right. how to tell where they go and all of that. So. Right. Uh, through the magic of editing, let's dive in and do that. Okay. So here we are, we have two quads here, mm -hmm. uh, as you can Perfectly see from the good. camera. Yep. So, um, yeah, one thing, first thing you have to understand is that all quads have clockwise and counterclockwise rotating motors. Okay. One spins clockwise, one spins counterclockwise. A clockwise and counterclockwise motor have different blades. So if, if a motor is spinning clockwise to push air downward, the blades have to be angled a certain way, mm -hmm. and on a counterclockwise motor, since it's been in the opposite direction, they've got to be the opposite of the other side. So this is where the problem comes in, is people keep putting clockwise blades on counterclockwise and so on. So, the manufacturers are smart. On each blade, most of the time there'll be a letter. Like we have a Dromeda Verso and a Dromeda Vista here. Yeah. Uh, on both of these models, you have a B on one blade and an A on the other. And same with this, you got A and B. Where they put the clockwise and counterclockwise motors varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Because as we see here, we have a, an A blade here and a B blade, or I'm sorry, A blade here and a B blade here, which means that these motors are not. Yeah, so don't rely the same on way. A and B being the same across drone Yeah, right. And so, or even manufacturing the different drones. Exactly, exactly. So here you go, you're flying around, you crash your crew quad. Oh no, I broke the blade. So. First thing first, before you pull your blades off, look at the blade and see what the letter is. This has a B on it. We're going to pull, so this right here, that has a B. You're going to take it. You're going to pull it off. Boom. There you go. Your blade's off. Now. Yeah, now look at that. See, you know, and I just want to take the moment to show those folks that are looking at home that, you know, right. it's just a pin and it was just kind of yeah. pressure that holds that on yeah. there. Now, uh, the Verso and the Vista, like most quads, give you, they give you a spare set of blades. They do. The biggest mistake everyone makes is they pull it off and go, oh, okay, here's a new one, and they just grab a new one out of the box. Do not double check. Right. This, like you said, is a B blade. So if you were to have spare blades to put on this, you have to put the B blade on the right spot. And all it does is this one here is a matter of just pushing it on. If I can find it. And there, you're done. Also, a quick tip. Um, on push on blades, push them on and flick them. Make sure they spin freely. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when you push them on too far, yeah. it'll hit the motor and it'll bind up. Gotcha. And then you'll go to fly it and it won't fly right and you'll burn your motor out. Okay. So always make sure that it's real free when you spin it. And that will be the number two largest 
repair yeah. made to a drone is replacing burnt out motors. Right, right. <laughs> um, do you tell you what, real quick, just to give folks an example, uh, you want to show them yeah. on the Vista? Just Same to... thing with the Vista. Exactly. So on the Vista, and this goes for the Vista, the Alias, the Ominous, uh, any of the, the quads most, that, yeah. most of the quads that have a, uh, a gear driven setup like this, mm -hmm. they're all really similar. So what you're going to do with this one here, put your finger underneath here so the shaft won't fall out, your thumb on here so it doesn't, uh, mm -hmm. um, so it just holds it in place, and it's just as simple as unscrewing a screw. I mean, this is just a tiny little self-tapping uh, uh, Phillips head screw. And literally, I mean, be careful because they're really small. Okay. And we have a magnetic screwdriver, so yeah, we'll there you go. Yeah, yeah. So, and then just, uh, this just pops off. All right. Simple so, as that. Yeah, so, so that's just, uh, just again, another post just has some screw holes in it. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this has a flat edge on it, though. To help you orient it right. Oh, okay. So in here is just kind of shaped like a D. It's yeah. hard to see it's at the top, but yeah, very very faint. But it'll it'll be real obvious. So. Right, and once again, this blade even has an arrow on it to okay. show you which direction sure. it spins. It spins this way. It's supposed to be spinning. And here on this quad, they actually have arrows showing yeah. which direction the blade is supposed right. to be spinning. So in that case, you can match arrow to arrow, and if they're both pointing in the same direction, you're good. You know what you're good. Once again. Check. And just, you know, I know some of you are going to say, well, I crashed my quad and the, bro the blade broke in half and the letter wasn't on there. Well, in that case, your instructions will tell you what goes where. So if you don't have a blade on here or you, you broke the part off that has the, the, uh, the number, which this is no excuse, it has an arrow and a blade and yeah, a number. Yeah, yeah. But either way, if you break the part that, that, rec that tells you what the blade is, uh, your instructions will tell you what corner A and B go on. Yeah. So... No excuse. Also, it's always either, you know, it's always opposite, you know, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, clockwise. It, it, right. That pattern right. is always repeated. It's right. A, B, A, B, B, A, B, A. You know, right. it's always going to go around like right. that. Right. So. A perfect example of this is this is a B right here. Mm -hmm. This is a B right here. Yeah. This is an A right here. A right there. That's an A right there. So like Adam said, you've got A, B... B A. Yeah. So and so if you're not sure about it, you can always go diagonally across. And look. It's going to be the same blade. Or if there's a B or an A sure right here, go. there's going to be a B on this side. There you go. Science. Science. How does it work, man? Uh, let's see. Well, why is doing this important? Because you're not going to fly your quad if it's not set up right. What happens is very very important. You set you, yeah. if you try to fly your quad with the wrong blade on it. What the reason everything freaks out is because it's blowing upward instead of downward. And then so, blowing downward is what makes it pick right. up. Right. Yeah. So now all of a sudden you have three motors that are trying to pick the quad up and one motor that's trying to push it down to the ground and the gyro goes, ah, and it just yeah. starts to speed the, and it just flips over. Yeah, or it behaves Whatever. erratically, flies right. all over the place. Yeah, if you put the wrong blade on, it will not fly. Yeah. Because the gyro just goes, I don't know what to do, and it just, your, your quad flips over. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's all freaked out. Right. Um, like many of our how-to videos, basically these are tips that help stuff stay running or run better. And right. Uh, part of that is uh, also reading the instructions. So uh, we hate to bring it up, but that's why you know we point it out. Right. Uh, let's see. On a difficulty of on a scale of one to ten, how difficult we call this? Uh, I'd say this is a one. Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty. About as pretty easy and straightforward yeah. as it gets. You so. can read. You can handle this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, if you can't, you can probably handle this. This is true. Uh, let's see. And time-wise, how long does it take? Oh, time? Yeah, maybe maybe a minute or two. Yeah, Nothing five if you're being really slow. Right. Uh, let's see. I think that's going to do it for this how-to video. All right. Uh, if folks are in the need for spare props for some of their quadcopters, is there somewhere where they can go to make that happen? They sure can. Where's they can go that? to RC Street Shop, Whoa. 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. And don't bring your quad into me after watching this video and telling me that you can't make it fly. Because if it, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, will, he will laugh at you. He will uh, make fun of you. Well, Maybe. yeah, I probably will. All right, uh, let's see. If So we gave him the address. Is there a phone they can a call phone if number? they can't come to the store? You want to call 562-425-9000. Excellent. And if you are geographically challenged and can't make it to the store and you don't want to call because you're shy, you can always send us an email, info at rcstreetshop.com. We are also on the social media. We do Twitter, RC Street Shop, all one word there. We are also on Facebook. We are. <laughs> like the page if that's what you like to do. 
get it like like yeah and uh, hey we got the YouTube thing going obviously we're putting content out you're watching this video you figured it out we'd appreciate it if you'd like the video but more importantly subscribe, subscribe. Hit Do the it. subscribe button you make know, it you happen wanna make us happen you know it, it just helps yeah yeah we just broke 600 subscribers recently yeah so, uh, moving in the right direction right. thank you